one interesting thing about this switching expressions is they act as functions which means they will take some input and then map them to output for example i'll just give you some example here assume that a b and c are uh, boolean variables then if i write the expression a plus b c it is actually defining a function what is a function it will take the inputs and for every input it will show a output and it will be 1 to 1 right and uh, on to right so see this what are the inputs first so what do i mean by input is let's define that one first a b and c are boolean variables therefore they can take two values either 0 or 1 so depending on this what are all the inputs that we could give to this uh, function is this expression is all the possible values of a b and c a b and c if each value can take 0 or 1 right then what are all the possible values for you know a b c 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 i am just writing all the possibilities okay so these all form the set of all inputs and now i am saying that this is going to act as a let me finish it i am saying that it is going to act as a function because for every input here there will be a corresponding output which means see this now this expression will in effect take this input and then produce some output now input is containing the set of all eight elements then uh, then output means this domain is all set of all eight elements and what is the range so range is range depends on what are the functions what are the values that you allow for the function in case if the function is also boolean which means if the function is also allowed to take only two values let us say this is the function f of a comma b comma c is this one and this function is also boolean which means the value of the function is also supposed to be uh, 0 or 1 then what happens is what are the values that it maps is you can take each one and you substitute there if you substitute 0 0 0 in this you are going to get 0 if you substitute this value in this I think you are going to get 0 and what about this again 0 what about this 1 what about this 1 1 1 1 right therefore every value of the input is mapped to the value some value here right so now once we have seen that uh, this is how the function is defined then we could do uh, various things on it so one thing is if you know that the values of the function is this then you could define the complement of the function what is the complement of it you can actually take you know take the complement of the values represented by f complement of a function is whenever this function is saying 0 you will say 1 the complement will say 1 whenever this function is saying 0 1 1 whenever this function is saying 1 you will say 0 0 0 0 0 right that is how you define the complement right so again see boolean expression is actually defining a function which means it will take the set of all inputs and map them to output and in this case output is also boolean because i am assuming that the function is boolean if the function can take two values 0 and 1 and if the variables can take two values 0 and 1 then what happens is if there are three values three variables then the number of inputs possible is 2 power 3 which is 8 now all these 8 values will be mapped by a boolean expression to either 0 or 1 now this is nothing but the function then i am defining the negative negative of the function similarly you can define anything maybe you can define a function f and then you can r it with a function g now how does this function behave either if for a given given values for a given value of the inputs a b c either if f is 1 or g is 1 then the output is going to be 1 right that is how it is going to behave for example let us say for the values i am not writing about the input f and g let us say here there are two values a and b 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 right and now for some assignment for some function the values turned out to be 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 right then what will be the anding of fg then you just hand them 0 0 0 1 what is the ordering of f plus g 1 0 i think uh, yeah 1 1 right 1 1 0 1 right therefore it is not just if a expression is defining a function once we get the function we can apply operations on the functions also what are the operations 
in the operation here i have applied and here i have applied or and here they have applied ne complement right so once you get the function you can apply various operations on the resulting functions and you can form a different function now this entire thing is going to be a new function new function right so we could keep on going this so why are all these important is it means that you could form a single circuit or you could construct a small circuit and then combine it with other circuits and then you could form a bigger circuit therefore a bigger task can be divided into small small tasks and implemented individually and then combined with the outputs for example if you want to construct f plus g first construct f then construct g and then this right and other important thing is how are you going to represent a function so this is one way to represent the function using the expression and the, there are various other ways one is called canonical representation so canonical representation is there are two different forms uh, i'll just show you one form first now see this function f what are all the uh, uh, values of a b c or the rows a b c for which this value is one it is one here one here one here one here one here right which means for all these values 1 2 3 4 5 for all these five combinations this one this one this one this one this one it is going to be one so either if the input is this one or if the input is this one or if the input is this or this or this the value is going to be one therefore how can you put it in canonical form if the input is this right which means if the input is 0 1 1 then the value of the function has to be one therefore i am going to write like this f equal to if the input is 0 1 1 or i mean see i'm just deriving it it is not the actual way to write it i'll just show you what i'm doing here if the input is 0 1 1 i'm going to write it like this right and what does this mean if the input is 1 0 0 then the value is 1 or what does this mean if the input is 1 0 1 then the value is 1 or 1 1 0 the value is 1 or 1 1 1 the value is 1 right now how can i represent how can i make uh, the input as one see for all these combinations the input should be uh, the output should be one how can you write a term in such a way that given this combination i produce one so i am going to talk about the anding so the only way is a prime bb if i write a term like this then what happens is given the input 0 1 1 then i'll u a 0 then i'll get 1 b 1 b 1 then i get this right so if this is the term that is used to represent this one then whenever this input is going to be 0 1 1 then obviously this term is going to be 1 and therefore the function is going to be 1 got it and what about this one if the input is a b prime c prime then what does it mean whenever you give the input 1 0 0 I don't care about all the other terms at least this term is going to be 1 so when this term becomes 1 even if all the other terms are 0 then you are going to uh, get the output as 1 got it similarly this one could be represented as a b prime c this one could be represented as a b c prime this one could be represented as a b c right so what do you understand every function could be represented in this canonical form it is it is also called as canonical form now next we shall see what are various types of canonical forms and how to represent them for now understand that every function every expression is capable of acting as a function and every functions all the functions can be combined together to form a bigger function or a bigger expression and then every function can be represented using the canonical forms why are all these important is they are all going to play big picture or big role when you are trying to construct the circuits and when you are trying to minimize them right i'll show you there